this training uh, video I'm going to do on how to use your credit wallet. Okay, uh, so you'll notice that I'm on the dashboard, and if you have money in the credit wallet, you, you need to see you'll see, you'll have a thing up here saying you have X amount of dollars in the credit wallet. Click here to assign to a purchase. Okay, and that's that's the easiest way to get there because if you don't have any money in your credit wallet, you can't you know transfer any money or do any of the things we're going to talk about. So what I do, um, I use I put money in my credit wallet each week so that I can either uh, purchase things from my wife's account or I can use it as incentives for people to help them out and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna click here. And here's, here's what you need to do, okay? First, you need to, if you're going to purchase product for another user, another paid affiliate, right? So here are your options here. You can order a product, you can transfer credit to a paid affiliate, or you can upgrade a customer. So either what if you're if you're gonna order product, transfer credit, or upgrade, you need the ID or the username. I typically go for the username because it's easier. So let's say I'm I'm gonna purchase something for my wife. I her username is Karen Daring. Okay. Now you can create a whole new user. Okay, but we'll, we'll come back to that. So then I would just do order product. I would hit continue. I would pick out the products I want. You know, so let's just say, I don't know, I want um, a box of this. That's $49. And maybe some... Uh, 750 that's 89 so 90 and 50 that should be good to go so that and this is uh 50 bv and this is 25 so that's 75 bv uh then i would just come down here to the bottom and i would say continue i'd make sure that it's going to the person i think it is or i want it to check out the total and then say issue credit okay but i'm not going to do that on this one because i'm going to go back to my dashboard and i'm going to click here again go back okay that's how you would purchase product either for yourself you would just put your own username in there you would purchase product for somebody else either you know uh one of your other paid affiliates whoever it might be okay if you wanted to transfer credit, same thing. You would put their username in here, click transfer credit, and go through that information. Go through that. If you want to upgrade a customer to an affiliate, you do the same thing. You put their username in, and then you would hit continue. The key is that you need to make sure that whatever you're transferring or whatever you're purchasing doesn't go over what you have in credit. It doesn't allow you to say, okay, you've, you've got $100 uh, in credit, and you want to buy something for 150 we're going to take away 100 in your credit wallet and then you can use your credit card to you know handle the remainder of it it doesn't allow you to do that you have to have all of it in your credit wallet okay if you want to create a new user you click on create new user you hit continue oops um i'm sorry you create new user You'd have to have this on order product. You would click continue, go through all of this, pick your pick your um, product that you want. Let's say you just want uh, one 500 builder pack. You would then go down to the bottom here and you would put in all the information. So if you, if you wanted this person, you wanted this person to be a preferred customer, or an affiliate, you would choose that, username, password, and, and so forth. Their first name, last name, email, username, password, where they're from, shipping inf information and everything. When you hit continue, it would give you verify all that information, and then you would click on issue credit, okay? That's all there is to it. It's very simple, very straightforward. And again, you're going to get to it either from this screen, the, the dashboard, that's usually where I go, or you can go down here on the left and click on credit wallet 
And here it will you it tell you that you currently have $150 in your or whatever you have. Click here to assign. Okay. Now here is where in your credit wallet you would decide how much is going to go there. So let's say for me, for instance, on my next one, um, I know that I've got to I've got to do I'm going to do a hundred to add for my pay on Thursday because I know that I have an individual that won a contest and I'm going to buy their monthly form. And that's all you do to, to put the amount that you want in your credit wallet. Okay. But you have to have money in your credit wallet. That's the key. All right. So I hope this has helped. I can't wait to see you on the next training.